Hey guys, today we're going to be making the batshit um, Robert Pattinson pasta dish as featured in the GQ interview and we're dressed for the part as you can see. Yeah, so we thought this looked really delicious. Sounded. Sounded delicious. We will be recreating step by step. As so including the exploded microwave. <laughs> That'll be a little treat. So watch till the <laughs> end to see us explode this microwave. Okay, so step what's step one? Um cook the the pasta, pasta in the microwave. In the microwave. Okay. And he specifically uses So what you wanna do is grab a microwave proof bowl, which Rob successfully did. <laughs> Um, despite his later dishes. Despite his later <laughs> microwave malfunction. This, you didn't want. Penny pasta. Penny. Are you sure that's microwave proof? Yeah. We'll find out. Um, is that all? I don't want to waste this. <laughs> okay. Then you're going to want to get the tap. Get the tap. Murky water. <laughs> <laughs> In true spirit of the unhinged, <laughs> the unhinged <laughs> Rob. I was knocking over the hands of the He Are put you? it for eight minutes. <laughs> put that for eight minutes. And we'll check back in my ears. Um, so we just put the pasta on for eight minutes. And now we're going to get our... Cornflake, cheese, he and sugar. He said that you're meant to use breadcrumbs, but he couldn't at the moment, and so he used... He couldn't find he any couldn't at find the shops. No breadcrumbs at he the shop, so the he bought... The next best thing was cornflakes. Corn <laughs> Not bread, it was cornflakes, obviously. <laughs> because it's already kind of crummy, you know? This is what you're going to need next. Um, how much cornflake? You're going to need some aluminium foil. So Rob actually forgot about the cornflakes. He did his cheese and sugar thing first, and then he had to lift it up <laughs> and then sprinkle. Oh, okay, but so because we have the hindsight, we'll just put them. We'll first. put that aside for now. First. We have to do it in the correct order. Should put I get that tray? Put that to the side for now. You're also gonna need a hamburger bun, a tray, some foil. No, not yet. Oh, also put that to the side. <laughs> Okay. Wait. Do you need any particular type of cheese? Pre-sliced cheese. You need nine packets. <laughs> nine of bags pre of pre-sliced cheese. cheese. We don't have any of that, so we'll just slice our own. Yeah, we'll have to slice our own, but really, you should be using like the craft singles. Nine of nine <laughs> packs. <laughs> nine, <laughs> nine. How many singles are in a bag? Probably like twenty. Ten. I don't know. You should have over a hundred craft singles for this recipe. Pretty bad for a microwave. But not as bad See, as what we're going to do for it later. This is what happens when you don't have pre-sliced cheese. You end up with I this. I know. The recipe isn't going to be as good. How do you feel about the way your life has led you? Um, you know, I was in a movie and I uh, couldn't tell you anything about the movie. <laughs> uh, tell us about Tenet. What, sorry? Do you want to start with a single layer of cheese? And then once you have your layer of cheese, you want to go in with the sugar. Here <laughs> <laughs> we just have some caster sugar. <laughs> and then again with another layer of cheese. This is a crime against oh, humanity. No. Another layer of cheese. Sugar. So you see, the sugar's already there. Yeah. And then we just add another layer of cheese. Yeah. And then I can see how this would be a lot easier with the craft singles. Yeah, craft singles. But we so have to make easier. do like a true, a true chef's and then make do. More sugar. <laughs> <laughs> this is at the point where Rob realized he forgot about the cornflakes. Oh, sure. So what we need to do? Get your cornflakes that you put aside earlier. <laughs> so I got my corners, and yeah, now I just need to just see more sugar. No, no, you <laughs> peel back <laughs> the cheese, and then. <laughs> You don't crush them up, you just... Oh, slightly. You do. You, and then you just tap that back down. Fuck them in. And then continue on with the layers of cheese. <laughs> no more cornies? Is it just cornies on it's the just, bottom? It's just cornies on the outside layer. Okay. Um, so yeah, we've got a good good layer of sugar cheese. 
with the cornies underneath that we forgot about. <laughs> we're gonna grab our hamburger bun. Um, and we're just gonna holler it out. Hollow, hollow? Hollow it out. Holler at it. <laughs> Yo! Yeah. So I'm just slicing it in half. Great. Good, good technique. Thanks. I'm not slicing it anything. <laughs> What um, does he mean by hollow it out? It's already it's pretty like, thin. Because I think they're meant to be like quite firm, but it's quite thin. So, which is the top? We'll just use this one. That one. Yeah. <laughs> so, when we have the pasta, we're going to put it on, but we're just going to burn PC into it, which is oh yeah the name of the pasta, but we don't have a lighter, so we're going to have to use matches. Yeah. Um, so I have safety matches and normal matches and let's use the normal <laughs> one. Yeah, there's like a PC. Surely there's an easier way than a, like an open flame. <laughs> <laughs> just, just Is it going to catch a light? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can actually like, roll with a match. <laughs> Go on bro, what are you so scared of? Oh my god, it's coming to a <laughs> PC, <laughs> get riding. <laughs> You can't brand it. <laughs> right. How do you do? You're such a Are we going to set off the fire alarm? Is there still a flame? Or is that just the smoke that still smells? Oh god, that's so strong. Oh my god. Oh. Wait, oh what's on god. fire? Huh? Oh, the pasta's finished. The pasta? Oh my god, is the, alarm... is the smoke alarm going to go off? Oh, it is so <laughs> smoky because it's tossed. Write PC on the hamburger bun and flame properly. Like I don't know how it did it. It's too smart for me. It's just really acting on a different intellectual wavelength. I have no fucking idea if this is cool. Ow! It didn't say anything about straining the water. I think we just chuck it on. Can we strain it a little bit? Oh, what happens next, B? Um, yeah, so you pour it on there. Okay, we've got our pasta. I can't show it to you, but it's in there. Ow, that's actually hot. Okay. <laughs> and then put the fun over it. Get them all in there for a <laughs> Then what? Okay. We're meant to put PC on the top. What should we write it with? Adapt, overcome, Ex improvise. Exceed. What does PC stand for again, B? Um, once I remember what he calls this dish, it's something PC. It says PC, but in like Italian. How do I write PC in Italian? That looks like I burnt it in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and what we're gonna do now is fold up the foil and then put it in the oven for about 10 minutes. Maybe we'll get rid of that. You're losing the flavor. Is that where the flavor is? I don't know where the flavor is. The sauce! Which sauce? Any sauce. Any sauce. So let's go see what sauces we have. Rob uses red sauce. It smells so strongly of smoke in here. Does this go on top or under? That goes under. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. This is where it gets tricky because <laughs> this is where it gets a little spicy because Rob says you want to put it in the oven, okay? And so he goes over to the oven and but it's actually a microwave and he puts it in at a thousand watts and that doesn't like set off any alarm bells that ovens generally don't cook in watts. Oh my god! So then he explodes his microwave. We don't have microwaves to explode because we only have we one. Have one. He so has several. we'll put it in the oven. But what's like a thousand watts in like oven language? Like 180. 180. Let's we'll just put 180. on 180. So we can still put our microwave to a thousand watts, <laughs> but we just we just <laughs> won't it. put it in there. We'll put it in the oven. Rob's microwave explodes and he ends up on the ground, but we don't want to explode our singular microwave. So we're just going to wait 10 minutes on the ground for the true experience. Um, so tenant. 
Yeah, looking forward to it. Have you seen it? No, it's not out yet. Oh, I'm. You know, every day I'm just thinking of new, cruel, and inhumane things I can do to pass. <laughs> That's just no. how I spread my time. Rob says me. he uses the one that looks like a hair bun. Like if you have your hair in a bun, that's the type of pasta he normally uses when it what? works. But he couldn't remember the name of it. Um, that's just in the oven, and we're really looking forward to a good treat when it comes out. Thank you so much, Rob. You're a inspiration. Inspiration. You're a cooking inspiration and acting inspiration, and we love you so much. A legend. Also, don't be mean to FK Twigs. Oh. Talia deserves better. We'll come after you. Peace. Oh wait, we'll be back to eat for the taste we'll test. Show you what it's like. After Ours was successful. We didn't exploit any kitchen Items. appliances. Looking good. Mmm. Smells delicious. What's mama been cooking? Let's find out. I'm having a nice picnic. I'm excited. Oh, it's so bright. Jesus. <laughs> Wow, that. <laughs> well, nothing left to do but keeping me right, I guess. <laughs> How do you eat this, Rob? It just falls apart. Or you must keep it in the foil. <laughs> it's meant to you be. You didn't think as... structurally, Rob. <laughs> it's all falling apart in my hand. The idea is that it's like you can eat it as a takeaway, like yeah, burgers but it needs and pizza. Yeah, the second bun for some structural integrity the cornflakes just aren't gonna hold it together anyway you can see the cheese and milk nicely there has he broken into the market <laughs> it's not as bad <laughs> as one would think have you <laughs> it's definitely not good. There's some <laughs> Is it the Vegemite that we added? I've dodged the Vegemite. <laughs> I'm scared of this bit where it's all Oh Oh I haven't had a bit from the corny side. Yeah, it's a corny. <laughs> <laughs> I had a whiff of the cheese. <laughs> okay, that end is disgusting. No, I can't do it. That's bad. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this um, cooking tutorial. Um, for any complaints, forward them to Robert Pattinson. Join us next week. Birds will like that. <laughs> Absolutely loving it. Come it's a real winner, but Rob. Rob, you've cornered the bird market. Oh, look at it. Oh my god, can't get enough. <laughs>